Hello, new and old viewers. Um, I was planning to do this yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think, no, Monday the 25th because I had already finished my cat breed presentation, so I had nothing to do, but I was also tired, so yeah, that didn't happen. So anyways, um, after that Nike purchase, I was on Slick Deals and I saw an Under Armour one, but that's not in this video. I actually looked at the Nike website again and then I bought another pair of training tights since I, I don't know, it's just, you don't, it's not very often that you find stuff that's on sale in your size and that's not ugly, so um, that's what I did. I got this one in here, so yeah, I wanted to see if there's a difference between the like football training tights and the regular ones because the regular ones does not feel like anything at all. Well, I know like, I guess I can feel that feel now since after wearing it a couple of times at the gym, it's cool in the sense that you can feel yourself not overheating. It can feel like your sweat evaporating, but you're also like, in a sense, warm at the same time because no like cold air is blowing against you and making you cold. But yeah, this one's this one's um, considered a football one, and I only bought this because it was more like plain looking, but also nice at the same time. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I just hit like. 1.7k and I am slowly waiting for the day I hit 2k so I can be like <laughs> But I don't think that's gonna be for a while So anyways If I hadn't recorded this the day before my cat presentation I would have been like did you guys know there's a cat breed called the Toygers and they're literally cats designed to look like tigers, and yeah, you should totally Google them because they're pretty cool looking. But they're also very expensive. I think when I do get a cat, it's probably gonna be a uh, shelter cat, so those are usually just American short hairs. Or, yeah, because that's a really broad breed, and it's basically another word for mutt, for like cats. Uh, so this one, it's a little, it's around the same price as my other one, or my other two. This one's like $25, I think. I don't think it's in here anymore. This has been sitting at my table for a while. And right now there's sort of like a little heat, heat wave in California, so there's no real point in this. But yeah, I got my Under Armour one today. And then, and my Under Armour ones are the, the, the cold tech ones, so those are for warm. I, just want, I was really curious to see how, how they played out. I should have bought three though, because I saw a black one that I liked, but it was the, like the heat tech, and it just didn't cross my mind at the time. So this one, it kinda, it's kind of like those Adidas kind of looking preppy sports stuff. So it looks like this. And, and, yeah, it just looks kind of, it's like a tight track pant, but it's not for, like, lazy um, athleisure looks. But from the feel of it, I don't think it's going to be any different from, from, like, the regular kinds, despite having the football label on here. Actually, looking at the price tag, it's kind of cheaper than the other ones I got from my previous video, which were like $45 and $54, this was only $40. So yeah, now the struggle. This is literally how I put them on with other ones too. <laughs> I'm trying to do it so my underwear doesn't show. I feel like it's like those skiers or something. I actually really like how this looks. So, yeah, like. 
I can't pull them higher. I don't want my underwear showing, but yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm really scared of this part because I know it's gonna wash off eventually and just start cracking. But it looks really nice right now. And surprisingly, it is more tight than my other ones. So I can really feel it like here because I don't like it when I'm like walking and then this like just jiggles like crazy. So these are really good for like actual running. So what a pleasant surprise. So, so um, yeah, this is probably gonna be a really short video, but I would like more of these. <laughs> and I think the age old question is, do you still see your underwear lines? Or that's my, my staple question anyways. And I do, but it's very discreet. Uh, it's like right here. I don't think my camera can catch it though. <laughs> so anyways, before I end my video, I know I made a video like a long time ago about moisturizing and I discovered something that I should have discovered a long time ago and it was, and, and, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So one night I was curious to see if there was a tool to like moisturize your back. So who needs a man anymore when you got this? And yeah, basically you just put your lotion on here and then put like this. And then you can just go like that and then like do this on both sides. And then like, yeah, you got totally moisturized back now. So thank you this. I'm gonna link it, I'll, I'll put the Amazon link for this because it's only like $6 and yeah. So, thank God I'm not a girl because I don't know how it dresses like this way. But at least I can moisturize my back now. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, stay tuned for my next one, which I don't know if it's gonna be like after my next couple of midterms, which will be in like another four weeks. Um, yeah, but um, so hello, but yeah, um, hello and goodbye to all my new and old subscribers, and I'll be back with the video next time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.